the board that I made to insert a meanwhile power supply into the A600 case, it turns out there's another A500 PSU that's very similar and it almost fits, but it doesn't quite. I actually found one on eBay and hopefully this is it. Um, ugh, God, it's so heavy. So it's apparently 4.3 amp, which is higher than the A600 power supply. It's a 60 watt instead of 50 watt power supply. Is that right? It's 312503.02 and the 02 means it's UK. I don't know if I should plug this in and just measure the voltages first. Or maybe I should open it up. It has a sticker that says it's good. Let's plug this thing in. Ugh, it looks really scummy and horrible. I don't think I fancy plugging it into my Amiga to test it anyway. So the plus five volts on this is 5.2. Yeah, it seems a little on the high side. Five point, ooh, did that say 5.3? 5.3? Hmm, I don't like that. Plus 12 is okay. The minus 12 is on minus 18, which I, I don't know what the minus 12 is used for in the Amiga, but that is not good. That's immediately not good. And the five volt line, 5.3. I don't, I don't think that's good. I wouldn't suggest that that's, I wouldn't suggest that that's a good power supply, but luckily I didn't buy it to, yeah, done good. I didn't buy it to actually use it. I bought it to take it apart. So I'll have to be careful with this now because, because it could still zap me even though, I've, even though it's uh, off. Let's see if this thing comes apart. I can't get this last, oh, there we go. Oh, this is totally different to the other one. All right. Yeah, this is not the same. Oh my God, this is completely different. It doesn't have the actual um, points for the screw holes like the other one did. So it may be that this one is no good to me. I don't think I trust my uh, Amiga with it anyway. Yeah, so this, this is just not the same. Well, that's a disappointment. But hey, I've got a different power supply now. So in theory, I could design another board. This is version one board that was too big. So this kind of like, does it even fit in there? No. And this one kind of would fit, but it's different. That is really, really odd. So that's completely different to what I expected, which is a bit of a shame. And look at the, oh, it's so heavy. Well, there it is. A totally useless Omega power supply. Useless to me, as it is. But hey, some days you're the hammer, some days you're the nail. It's got all this scum inside it. So this is my version 1.01 board, and it doesn't quite fit. It's, it almost fits there. There's a bit needs nicking off there, but that needs to be done for the um, other version of this power supply as well. And it wouldn't fit in any way even if it did, because this giant piece of plastic's in here. Um, this thing, uh, which I suppose you could just snap off or something like that, or cut off. Um, but then if you got it in, there's nowhere, there's no screw holes to mount it to. I'm gonna adapt this board anyway, because I know there is another version of this power supply that it does fit in, which does have the screw holes. And then that would mean that you could possibly mount it into this one as well, just by cutting that off. But then you'd have no way of holding this board in, and that's, that's the next problem, I suppose. Seems to be some notches down here on this side. So, I don't know if something could be done with those, but other than that, I'm gonna make some modifications to this to try and fit more cases like this one. So it does kind of look like the way to sort this one out is to mount a board in it the same way that the original power supply was mounted, which is the board doesn't go in horizontally like on these newer ones. And it actually goes in these slots here and the PSU attaches to the side. The meanwhile, I mean, it, it does kind of go in, but it doesn't actually fit with a board in there. So actually this doesn't work at all. It just about fits, just about fits with no board in there at all. 
So yeah, that would actually work. You'd be able to get the case on, but it, it just flaps around in here. So uh, it looks like making a board for this one is not really worth it because even if you manage to get this one to fit and you could mount that on there, that'd be fine, except there's nothing to fix this onto either. So you just as might as well put that in there because it's the same thing. So there's no good way to fix one of these into this because there is just no mounting holes. So I'll probably just mount this in here for now, have it flapping around, or maybe I can find a way to fix it, fix it in here somehow. But yeah, so this power supply, this version of the power supply is not really a good fit for actually mounting one of these in. I mean, you, you can fit it inside, but there's just no good way of doing it. So that's a bit unfortunate, but at least I can adapt this board for the slightly, uh, this is the different version of this, the O3 version, which is really, has got the mounting holes. So I should be able to do that, but for this one, uh, it's not much use.